afternoon everyone welcome to another edition of the holy name university uh, in focus series in focus is a series of virtual panel discussions brought to you live from the holy name marketing and advertising office uh, to bring to our audience our stakeholders our facebook friends our uh, students, parents, the administration, faculty and staff, valid information, relevant, um, especially up to date, uh, especially with regards to programs and uh, offerings of Holy Name University. So this afternoon we have with us uh, on the hot seat, uh, the program heads of the criminology and of the uh, uh, psychology programs of Holy Name University. You may show yourselves now, uh, moms, and uh, unmute yourselves. So good afternoon, everyone. And uh, those who are watching us live on Facebook, we are also live on Zoom. And synchronously right now, asynchronously later, the uh, audio files will be aired in our own DYJR. Johnson Radio 106.5 FM in the Metro Tagbilaran area and the, uh, the video recording will also be uploaded in the 
Holy Name University YouTube channel. This uh, Facebook Live right now will be in our HNU official Facebook forever so uh, others can review and watch this later. So good afternoon, uh, everyone. Good afternoon, my dear panelists. Welcome to In Focus and welcome to Holy Name University. So my dear uh, friends, uh, our Facebook uh, viewers, likers, followers uh, on the hot seat today are our new program heads. They are new faces, um, not really for uh, Mam Toralba, but they are uh, newly appointed mm -hmm. uh, program heads of the College of Arts and Sciences, particularly in psychology and in criminology. So without further ado, may I um, ask uh, the program heads to introduce themselves, just uh, say their name briefly, and then uh, what programs they are heading. Shall we start with uh, uh, Professor Toralba? Hello, good afternoon, Nambera, and good afternoon to all the viewers of the In Focus. I am Miss Divina G. Toralba, the new head of the BS Criminology Program of Holy Name University. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon. And we have Dr. Solon. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Good afternoon, ma'am Vera. Good afternoon, Holy Name University. Um, all our viewers, thank you for this invitation. I am Dr. Unilin Ingracia Solon, the program head of the psychology program in Holy Name University. Thank you very much. And I want to thank the, both of you for uh, being gracious enough to accept the invitation to uh, uh, be this afternoon's uh, uh, panelists for the In Focus series of Holy Name University. This is the 23rd uh, In Focus uh, episode of uh, since we started. And so I'm very grateful that uh, you can be introduced properly. People will get to know you more, especially those who are uh, also enrolled in Holy Name University, their parents and even the uh, Holy Name family. So without further ado, may let's deep dive into conversations about uh, you and uh, your program. So shall we start with uh, Dr. Solon this time? Tell me about you, uh, your personal life, your education, your career uh, so far, uh, what you can actually tell us. Yes, please go ahead. Mad look you as a personal life. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon once again. Nilin Isolo, no? I am a mother of three, namely Paolo, Matthews, and Cheska. I have one husband, of course, <laughs> very loving and supportive. I graduated my Doctor of Philosophy in Psychology, major in clinical psychology in Suleiman University. And it was also during um, that time when I was exposed to various training. No, um, in fact, I had my training in the practice of clinical psychology, medical center, um, behavioral center, delivering psychological services to different clients, no, mabata, matigulang, na yung mga adolescents. Um, I also facilitated and co-facilitated um, psychology-related training, no, like trauma healing and providing um, services, psychological services like psychosocial support to victims and even um, emergency responders um, during disasters. In the field of research, I was able to publish two scholarly works already, um, namely, the uh, I, I wrote, um, I published rather child abuse and its manifestation and suicidal related thoughts among university students, which I also presented in the um, Central Visayas Health and Research Development Conference. Wow, thank you very much. Uh, we did not get the, there was a little uh, audio problem with uh, where uh, the, the center that uh, you were doing the work? 
Ah, okay. I had my training in the practice of clinical psychology in Vicente Soto Memorial okay. Medical Center, behavioral center where I provided and delivered psychological services to different clients. Okay. Well, that, that is uh, very uh, good to know. So long Thank is the uh, Cebu last name? Is that a Cebu last name or uh, are your roots from Bohol? I'm, 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 my root is from Mindanao, but um, I started my education years here in Bohol. So I actually grew up in Bohol. Okay. But, but the last name Solon, is, do they have any relations to the Cebu Solon? Ah, or? Yeah, my husband, he said that um, ang ila ko nung family from Cebu. Um, okay. they, uh, they are, I mean, Solon is more popular in Cebu. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. We'll, have, you, more, we'll have more about you uh, later. So let's uh, proceed with uh, Professor Toralbat of the Criminology uh, program. Yes, hello, good, hello, good afternoon once again, Mambera and to all the viewers. I am again, Miss Divina G. Toralba. I am also a mother of one adorable son. And um, I am a graduate of um, Bachelor of Science in Criminology here in Holy Name University in the year 2008. And then I also finished my um, Bachelor of Laws degree in also here in Holy Name University in the year 2019. So Mom Vera all, um, already said that really a new face because I am I was connected in the university for five years before a I took a you know a break for some personal reasons and then now I am back as a as the new department head of the criminology program. I am from Corelia, but we are now um, residing in Tagbilaran. So I guess <laughs> that's all I can say about myself. Well, thank you very much. And uh, welcome back to Holy Name University. Yes, and to uh, uh, Dr. Solon, welcome to Holy Name University. So uh, I don't have much, uh, much uh, information or involvement with the criminology and the psychology psychology programs being that my major is in biology, education, nursing. So I don't have much to um, to um, add or say, but uh, we will be learning a lot from you uh, this afternoon. So thank you very much for really accepting the uh, invitation and for being so gracious to be, to allow yourselves to be in the hot seat. So we call that that seat, but that's uh, that's just uh, an, an inside joke in, in focus. So uh, pretty much uh, both of you have had different, um, you know, like uh, good careers in your different programs and have had, uh, you know, uh, good experience uh, bringing this experience into your uh, being heads of the different the two programs in Holy Name University. Uh, let's talk about the programs that you are uh, handling. So uh, I'll, this time we'll start with uh, Professor Toralba. Tell us about the criminology program. What does the four years look like and what do the students do within these four years? What do they learn? What are the experiences or what are the expected, you know, knowledge, skills that they will get? Yes, thank you very much. All right. Yes, thank you. Um, the BS Criminology Program is a program that prepares students to, um, in the careers of, of a career in the field of um, law enforcement, um, correctional administration, public safety, and of course, criminalistics or forensic science, and also in the academe. So basically, when you are a criminology graduate, you are not only expected to become a police officer. So basically, you are um, you are prepared for different um, opportunities or career opportunities in the law enforcement, as well as in the correctional administration fields, not only in the government agencies, but as well as private agencies. So basically. <clears throat> When a criminal 
G graduate will pass the board exam because this program has a board exam. After they finish the program, they are required to take the board exam so that they will become licensed criminologists. And there is an advantage, especially when they will be deployed in the police force when it comes to promotion and ranking. And then also um, in the BS criminology program, we are the students are trained not only in um, law enforcement and crime detection, but we are also trained in um, criminological research and um, forensic science. And then they have their they have also law subjects, which is very important in their chosen in their future um, career. So, um, what else? What else should I say for the program? I guess um, the BS criminology program, most of the uh, misconception is that one will become police officers, but not really. They can apply for a job in the um, Bureau of Fire Protection, in the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, in the um, Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, in the National Bureau of Investigation, and many others. Of, um, of course, our graduates are already in their in, in this different fields. So I could say that dilin ang gud sila bakules, pwede sila mudong aning different fields in their in the government or private agencies, in the law enforcement, in correctional administration, in public safety or security management, as well as forensic science and in the academy, of course. Thank you very much. We'll have uh, more about the program uh, later but uh, let's proceed to Dr. Solon about the psychology program what do they learn in there what does the four years look like and uh, yes Vera psychology is a field of study that scientifically explores the behavior and mental processes of human beings um, it gives. It actually gives emphasis on the individual person, no? Um, how behavior and mental process are affected by so many. This may include relational factor, environment, relational factor. So this is that provides our students with an initial training. Um, initial training that they will be able to promote optimal development and functioning of individuals and not only individuals but also groups family even organizations and community so if you are a graduate of psychology or bachelor of science in psychology you can be a licensed psychometrician you can work in in the industrial sit setting particularly in the human resources department you can work in the academe um, as a guidance counselor or as, as, as a teacher. You can also pursue careers in law uh, and medicine because psychology is a pre-med and pre-law course. Or even pursue further specialized training like in the field of clinical psychology, counseling psychology, developmental psychology. And so you can become a psychologist. In other words, this program offers a wide, a wider employment opportunities. So we will be learning techniques. We will be learning strategies and approaches on how to be able to efficiently and effectively deliver psychological services to the people. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much. Very interesting, both the programs that you are in. And I'm so happy that uh, uh, we are able to uh, share that to you are able to share that even to me because uh, uh, I don't have much information about these two programs. I haven't enrolled nor have any involvement in these two programs. Mm -hmm. So practically uh, what you will be sharing with me and the audience today will be information that are really important uh, things that we need to know about what we are offering so and we're also very happy that uh, because when um when i was in the college of arts and science before we didn't have uh criminology we didn't have psychology programs and we're very happy that 
uh, I'm very happy that uh, we are offering this um, uh, these years, no, uh, the recent um, years. So I'd like to go back to um, uh, Professor Toralba. Um, yes. What does the uh, like the school year or the uh, program, the four years program? There is a there is a time when they have also to go into uh, uh, OJT, right? Yes. Um our students will have their on-the-job training during their fourth year for the first um, semester and second semester. So before, before the pandemic, they are deployed in these different um, agencies, in the government agencies, so to, for their practicum. So that would be on the fourth year and their fourth year. So first semester and second semester, they will have their OJTs. And this is a requirement for mm -hmm. graduation and probably yes. for taking the boards? Yes, ma'am. The, the OGT or the practicum is embedded in the, um, the prospectus. So that is a requirement also. Okay. Thank you very much. So and, I, they will be... and I think they yes. also had, uh, I, I remember they also have uh, in the criminology, they also have the, uh, is there like a diving or a scuba diving am i correct or the swimming um, and then, um... in the criminology we have we have um martial arts um that is one subject for um fundamentals of martial arts they also have um first aid and water survival course okay, that's the one and then yes. um uh isn't there also like uh, the the because we're building the firing range um yes that's also required. Um, yes, combat shooting and marksmanship. How many marksmanship. semesters? How many semesters? Um, that is um, one course, one subject for the fundamentals of martial arts, one course, one subject for um, first aid and water survival, and one subject also for the marksmanship and combat shooting. Wow. Very, very interesting. So I... Uh, I uh, understand that we have a lot of enrollment in yes. this semester. How many yes. students are there enrolled? Are more than, um, there are more than 500 in, um, from first year to fourth year, and we have um, 70 in the first year, and that is, I think, a good number already. Wow. And the uh, seniors, the fourth year, how many do we have? Uh, For fourth the year, there are 34. Okay, and these are the ones, and but they're still online right now, the, the fourth year. Yes, yes, ma'am, in the fourth year, online. There will be no face-to-face -face, um, deployment for the OJT. They will not be deployed physically. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Let's uh, go back to that later. Uh, Dr. Salon, tell us about the, the four-year psychology program. Is there also, uh, <clears throat> uh, like you said, you were, you were uh, in... Um, in uh, Vicente Soto, is there also something like that with the psychology department? What do they learn? What are the major subjects in there? Uh, yes, um, similarly with um, criminology program, we also have on the job, it's, it's a psychology, we call it psychology practicum, and that happens um, first semester of uh, when when you are a fourth year student, so you will enroll in in psychology practicum. Um, it's actually similar with my experience in Vicente Soto Memorial. Um, students are also deployed. You no, know, before students were deployed for for the for the practicum, but now because it's pandemic, so we actually crafted a new more guidelines or program for the OJT. So it's called OJT. There was a little audio uh, or okay. connectivity problem. Uh, you, you were saying you have crafted. Uh, OK. You, you were saying that. Uh, can you hear me, ma'am? Uh, you were saying that you have crafted guidelines for 
Anyway, let's go back to uh, mom uh, later. Uh, let's let's. I'm gonna get back to mom uh, Toralba here. So um, af within that four years, and then they're expected to take the boards um, after yeah. the criminology uh, board exam. Uh, the students are prepared to take the boards from uh, for, during this whole four years, or there is there like a, re a board review? Um, something like that. A, um, we have a refresher course that is embedded in the prospect tools that would be um, in their in the second semester of the in their fourth year. So we are preparing the students for the board exam. However, after they graduate, after they graduate, they have the, you know, um, they can opt to also take a review in review centers. So um, I guess the refresher course is is a way of helping or preparing the the students to take the board exam, but. They can also take another review in pri um, private um, review centers for you know additional um, knowledge and preparation. Okay, wow, thank you uh, very much uh, for that. Um, so I, I guess um, these uh, 30, 30 some, um, like uh, mom, uh, Dr. Salon was saying that they have crafted a program for uh, the, uh, you know, like the fourth year um, practicum or OJT. How does yes. it look like uh, with the criminology for fourth yes. year for now? For the, In the uh, criminology normal. program, um, as a way of complying to the requirement of the on the job training, I have also um, created a an action plan or internship plan for this semester. So during in this pandemic. So basically, I have in order to comply with all the requirements for the OGT, I require the interns to attend webinars. They have to also um, do a case study, and also they are required to have a journal of the things that they have learned or they have learned the webinars and in their experiences. And also they are required to submit a portfolio together with all the activities for the whole semester. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Solon, are, uh, okay, we can, your, yes, your better, your audio and your uh, video is better where you are now. Thank you very much, Ma'am Vera. I apologize for the connectivity problem. <laughs> Nidagan ko sa laing room. <laughs> anyway, let me just go back to what I have uh, mentioned a while ago, that um, in the psychology program, we also have the, the psychology practicum. Um, before the student graduates in the, in the program, she has to take, no? Um, she has to complete the required number of hours for practicum, for, for psychology practicum. As what I have said um, a while ago, originally we deploy our students to various settings or areas um, related to psychology. But now because of the pandemic, we um, crafted you know, a new guideline that will... Um, that can still meet the goal or the purpose of practicum, even though it is in an online um, mode of, you know, it's like an online delivery of um, the program, you know, the practicum program. Um, still, we still we develop, um, we still develop activities that can enhance their ability in the industrial setting, in the clinical setting. In, and also in the community setting. So, and also in the school setting. So for example, in the school setting, um, we still connect with, um, we, we still connect with um, the office of the guidance counselors, for example. So we can like ask the help of the guidance counselors, uh, help ask their help 
for our students nga bisan o wala sila ma-deploy, they can still develop that you know skill that they should learn from a guidance counselor no that they can become um, effective counselor someday no like in the industrial setting also um, we want them to experience how to do some um, mga or, or fulfill tasks or activities that are required by the human resources personnel no and so with the community and also in the clinical setting. Like in the clinical setting, for example, um, part of the plan is to like, uh, part of the plan is to like um, provide them, um, you know, provide them activities that will also enhance their ability to write psychological evaluation reports on how to administer tests, on how to interpret tests and all these things. Okay, sounds interesting and probably also challenging given that we are in this um, uh, new normal. We have our blended online uh, learning uh, situation, no face-to-face, -face, but uh, I guess uh, you have your uh, work plan uh, cut out for you. Um, uh, Mom Turalba, Professor Turalba was saying uh, that they have these uh, certain labs or certain activities like they have these uh, uh, they have the markmanship they have the uh, what was that? first aid they have their uh, survival training what do uh, in the psychology uh, there's also a lab correct what we are also have a psych laboratory okay and so what are the different like uh, programs like if okay. in psychology it's uh, markmanship, it's uh, it's uh, first aid, survival, whatever. Uh, what what are the different um, activities or labs or you know like the major uh, courses in uh, psychology? Okay, in the psychology program, um, we we have laboratory. We have a, a psychological laboratory. Uh, it's actually intended for particularly for experimental research. No? Um, so in that, in that case, we train our students how to go about experimental research. Like um, uh, I, I, I remember in the, I think that was about last, more last year, man, siguro to, where I, I, I encourage my students to, to train animals nga na bitaw pero bisan tungod kay wala man ta mag face to face uh, i mean train animals for like conditioning no uh ya tungod kay wala man tay face to face mo na nga wala sila diri maghimo sa ato ang psychological laboratory um we also have like abnormal psychology that will train our students um assess psychological problems mental disorders and that hopefully um, we will also be, uh, they will also learn the, the basic principles or techniques on how to diagnose and then how to be able to come up with an intervention plan on how to treat no, mental disorders. Although basic lang siya, kay pang higher, pang higher psychology naman kintahay ang, ang kanang mag-treat na yun. But at least they could learn no, the, the strategies and the principles um, on on as regards to um, assessment and diagnosis of mental disorders or psychological disorders. We also have group process, um, group dynamics. In fact, our psychological laboratory would also serve as a group process laboratory where students can also be, um, can also experience personal therapy, you know, like, so that when they okay. when they graduate in psychology, they are already like murabaog unsa ilahang mga psychological issues at least na ay magamay gamay nga they can that will be addressed. And so when they will be working in the real world, they are very much prepared you no know, to to face the real world. So those are just examples of um, the major programs or courses that we have in, in psychology, you know, the abnormal psychology, experimental psychology. All these courses are, um, are helping the students prepared or be prepared for the licensure examination. 
In psychology, we have um, four subjects for licensure exam. We have the, the psychological assessment. Um, we have industrial psychology. We also have um, abnormal psychology and theories of personality. So these courses will help students um, be able to, as I have said, assess well the behavior of individuals and be able to come up with the effective intervention as to how to deal with this, um, help as to how to deal with, with individuals who are experiencing um, personal problems or experiencing um, problems as regards to their uh, mental, mental well-being. Okay, so like the criminology, there is also a board exam for yes. psychology it, after yes, the fourth. Okay, after the four years, uh, and then they they uh, take the boards, take the boards, uh, yes, and uh, uh, there is also a research requirement for both uh, courses to graduate. Yes, 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 yes ma'am. Is, ma is this like a thesis or something like that? Yes. Yeah. Which, yes. which they enroll in their fourth year. Yes. Um, Okay, mom. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, we'll start with uh, that. That the other than the OJT, there's also a research. Is that a, like a thesis requirement for the both? So we'll start with Mom Toralba, and you can mute uh, yourself. Yes, thank you, Doctor Solan. Yes, ma'am. They have a um, thesis or research in their in the third year. Oh, okay. And yes. they enroll that for the for two, two semesters two. or yes, for two semesters. Okay. Is that a requirement to be in the fourth year? Yes, ma'am. It's a requirement. Okay. So before they enroll in their fourth year, they should be done with the with their thesis. Okay. Thank you very oh, much. Okay. Uh, same thing for the psychology. Yeah, same thing for the psychology. Um, they they enroll in the students enrolled in um in research courses. It's actually research one. It's like research one and research two. It's in research one. It's the time where, the time when they write the proposal, and then in research two, that is the time when they when they um gather data and you know uh, present the findings you know from the from the research. And this is also in their third year. Yeah, um, second sem in third year, and then now first sem in fourth year. Okay, and this is a requirement to move on to the next. Yeah, uh, before they can proceed to psychology practicum, they have to finish all the the major courses in the psychology program so that they can enroll in the psychology practicum. Okay. Okay. And also they can um, take the enrichment course with comprehensive exam for psychology. That is very important because that again, also prepares the students for the licensure examination for psychometrician. Okay, wow, sounds interesting. And I forgot to ask you, how many students do we have for psychology you know, now? Ma'am Vera, I'm so happy because <laughs> as, as what um, Dr. Boloron had mentioned, psychology is a stronger, <laughs> it's getting stronger already, no? We have an, uh, our population increases, no? In fact, naanata sa mga almost 300, no? Sa pagkakaroon, that's first year to fourth year already. So sa so first year, we're able to open three sections already for psychology. So I'm so happy that, um, that the program increases. That is really a good indication that psychology flourishes already as a, as a course, as a discipline, as a professional um, practice in anak badaghan ng nakaila sa psychology. Unlike before, when I was um, when I was a student, there were only very few, no, in in that program. But now, uh, good to know that there are many students and maybe parents um, know about psychology already, and so they are interested in the field. No, I what I can say lang yun is that. Um, 
uh, psychology is flourishing nowadays and so bili sila magworry because when they graduate there there is like a wider employment opportunities awaiting for them you know, for the students wow that is so good uh, to hear and i'm so happy that uh, indeed uh, we have like 500 in uh, criminology and that i think that mm. was uh, that back in the day was the best seller of the ces And now uh, psychology is uh, picking up. Okay, um, can we? Uh, can you share to us about uh, like uh, the faculty that you have and their uh, experiences uh, in the profession? Um, let's uh, talk. Uh, let's start with Mama uh, Turalba, Professor Turalba. Come again, ma'am. Uh, our faculty in the criminology department. So uh, we have we already talked about the program. What are the course offerings? We already talked about who, how many students we have. Uh, what about the faculty? Um, are they uh, practitioners or uh, do we have diverse? Uh, yes. Um, in the BS criminology program, we have uh, we are two full-time um, faculty, um, including myself and attorney um, Cheryl and Gilliares. Yes. yes. And then the rest are all um, part-time teachers. We have one um, from the police force, who is um, Sir Martinez, and then we have um, four from the University of Cebu, since we have. We are already in collaboration with the University of Cebu. We just signed the MOA last week. So all of the, the four um, part-timers are um, doctors in criminal justice education. Okay. Okay. And that yes. sounds, uh, you know, like uh, they're uh, very um, uh, proficient, very uh, reliable in that field. Uh, what about the psychology? Uh, program in the psychology program i am very proud that my our psychology workforce is stronger also because we are composed of highly competent and qualified instructors who are graduates of um, master their masteral degrees doctorate degrees we even have a psychometrician and a psychologist no um Um, let me just uh, mention the names of the instructors. No, uh, we have um, Sir Limbaro, who is a psychometrician. Yes. yes. See, oh, full time, not a holy name. <laughs> I know they have, are. Yeah, see, Sir Limbaro. We also have uh, Mam Pinky Rolyorata, who is a graduate of um, Master of Arts in Psychology, major in counseling psychology. We have um, Dr. Alvin Carion, na atong gi gi-connect atong gikuha sa duol nga dapit pagadian city <laughs> layo kayo gikagikanan who's one of our part timers um, he is a graduate of phd in psychology okay. major in clinical psychology also from Suleiman University then we also have sir kids ronquillo oh um, kids i know yeah, he is he is um, part of the workforce already na balik siya Um, he is also a graduate of Master of Arts in Psychology. We have also Dr. Garcia, um, who is who is also uh, who is now nang nag nagpadayon sa yung PhD in Psychology major in Clinical Psychology. But he all but she graduated in Guidance and Counseling. I'm so happy to know Kit is here. Um, yeah. If you do not, uh, if you did not know, I did not know that he's here. But uh, we used to uh, be same castmates in a ah, okay. le- theater play. Um, in, yeah, because uh, in the Buangan de Baclayon, and we were yeah. in Teatro por Venir. Uh, mm. I had a minor role. I had a cameo role, and he uh, he was uh, I guess he was Jose Rizal, and ah. I was uh, I was the wife, the very talkative wife of one of the cast. And I'm, I'm happy to hear that he's here. 
Yeah, um, sus amo ginanggihang yu Mambera. Ginanggihang yu ni Dr. Boloron. <laughs> yeah, so I'm so happy. I hope to, um, I, maybe I can interview him also in this, yes. uh, in this episode. Um, yeah. So happy to hear that. So um, uh, that is good to know. No, I don't think I can ask you for uh, our uh, graduates yet, our notable graduates in the psychology and the uh, criminology would you have an idea or <laughs> oh you, what do you mean ma'am vera um, and, uh, like they, who, in same... who yes who are yeah. our you already have an idea okay you know what um, i'm i'm very happy also uh when i i when i learned that our psychol our Murabag, our program or Holy Name University was able to produce graduates nga mga maayog yon in fact we're able to um, we have two top notchers no from the psychology program in the person of mom and the person of miss karina oy who murag nag first place si miss karina sa guidance and board examination for guidance and guidance for guidance counselor we also had um Miss, I'm not sure with the name. It was Lorraine Bago or Bagol. I'm sorry sa ako ang nalipat ko sa apelyedo. Pero eighth placer siya sa ato ang psychometrician board examination. So that is something that um something but that our students should also yeah. look forward and be inspired that Holy Name University was able or was able to produce and will be producing more. Um, students nga mga top notch yun in the board examination. Well, from what you were saying, I'm getting that there are different board exams that they can uh, <clears throat> get into. Is there like a, uh, do they have to choose or they can take uh, both? Are there only two? Guidance um, no, and counseling? In Ani Shamambera, when you graduate in psychology, um, you can take the licensure examination for psychometrician. Okay. And then, if you will pursue um, further studies like gui um, guidance and counseling, you can take the board for guidance counselor. Ah, okay. And if you pursue MA in psychology, you can take the board for licensure examination for psychologists, for registered, okay. registered psychologists. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, for the criminology, um, um, wala pa? Oh, you might know. I have, I, for the criminology program, we have also produced a uh, top notcher in the 2012 licensure exam, trip placer in the person of Ruena Durupan. And then in the year 2019, the school, the criminology program is, um, you know, um, awarded as the top one performing school yeah, during yeah. the criminologist licensure exam in the in 2019 for having the average of 70.59 percent so that would be that would serve also as an as an inspiration for all our students not only to you know to only pass the board exam but also to aim for a a higher thing like for example to to aim to be a top notcher so way back before during our time our first um batch when they take when they took the board exam they they were um i guess three of them who took the board exam even though they did not um take the review because it was not a required requirement then pero 100% we have na to ang passing Wow. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. And I guess uh, last year, the the schools uh, nationwide also awarded one of our students as best in criminology. I believe it was yes. uh, Adorable. Yes, he's uh, Adorable. Hazel, yes, is she in yes. third year? She's third in fourth year? year now. Oh, oh fourth year now. Yes, she's in fourth year now. Very, very promising. Yes. So, um, just because we're we're on the criminology is can they also go to like the NPA or what they're taking is already um same as the program in the NPA? Um, they can also um apply for the Philippine National Police Academy. In fact, we have I guess two 
who already graduated, but okay. since they passed the exam, they are already connected to the Philippine National uh, Philippine yeah. National Police Academy. Academy. So I think they have already graduated, and then I think there is one who was still first year then. Um, I guess she um he is in fourth year now in, in the academy. Okay. Wow. Good to hear that. So um. So uh, sounds promising uh, when they uh, take these courses with us and you have, they have uh, the career path passing uh, just because uh, I've been asking this uh, uh, and because of the K-12 program and we have uh, in the, the senior high, we have ABM, Hume, STEM, we have TVL, we have the sports and arts and design tracks. Um, uh, to get into psychology and criminology, should there be a, should there be like a specific track or uh, strand? Like, uh, do you think that to be in the, uh, I guess it will be the Hume, huh? uh, humanities and social for, sciences. Yeah, for psychology, for psychology, Hume. Oh, right. And uh, same as. Uh, same thing. With the, the in the criminology program. program although i understand that uh, we take in uh, all kinds and they okay. especially for uh, the sciences to just uh, you know like take up additional courses to be in there so for for uh, psychology and criminology are there also like science classes like do they have to know anatomy or yeah. <laughs> uh, physiology and stuff like that yes okay. <laughs> they also um, have students have also to comply or to complete four natural sciences i think that's also the same with criminology ma'am no yes. the same uh, kanang four natural sciences no in the case of psychology na sila chemistry as in like zoology, anatomy, ecology, and right. so four natural sciences. My favorite subject. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, because I, in another life, uh, I was in, my first uh, decade in HNU, I was uh, teaching those uh, subjects. So that's ah. pretty much just what I am uh, linked with in the first two program. Okay. okay, so thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. Um, in criminology also, ma'am, we have, aside from um, chemistry, and we have also organic chemistry, we also have forensic um, science subjects. That is also considered as a major um, subject that, in that is the a, program. That is a very um, interesting course. Forensic. Yes, for, yes, forensic science, um, particularly criminalistics, we have forensic um, fingerprint, um, fingerprints identification we have forensic ballistics forensic photography polygraphy question document examination and also forensic toxicology wow very yes. interesting and we have all the laboratory for that huh yes we have a laboratory um actually it it is located downstairs <laughs> however it will be transferred at the second floor and then i guess it transfers here yeah, to the pizza border gym because okay. there will be a yes. cutting. The, 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 what you call that? The firing uh, range. Driving range. The, uh, firing range. Firing, firing range, not oh, the firing range. range. Firing then, range. Together with the laboratory, um, yes, laboratory room. Well, something to look forward to for yes. the students who are currently enrolled and for those who are planning to enroll, still figuring out what they would like to do in their lives, that we have all these uh, good things uh, coming up in Holy Name University, especially in the two programs. I'm just, uh, you know, like amazed to hear all this information um, and uh, knowing what we have to offer. And I hope that, uh, I hope that, uh, the pandemic will be over so that we can already maximize the use of the facilities that we have or that we, we will already be allowed the uh, face-to-face uh, classes soon so so looking forward to that um, the time check it's 2 55 so 
that's 55 minutes from time. I'd like to read uh, the messages here from our live viewers. Cynthia Aiko is watching. Sheila Batuhinay Alturas, the new uh, assistant principal for senior high school is watching. Julieta Mangao, Annalyn the Spread Loss gave three hearts. Uh, Jocelyn Tagaro is watching. Milagros Gallego, my teacher in first year high school science is watching. Petrona Barbergado of Owa in Rome or Italy is watching. Father William Lepatan is watching. Ton Alcruz, Roque Hussein uh, Tabaco, uh, I can see the last name. Good afternoon, maybe he's one of your students. Jocelyn Montes is watching. Regino Garcia Lobertanos, I think he was Hi, connected sir. with the criminology, <laughs> is uh, watching. Well, Annaline, Dos Pueblos, Hearts, Psychmates. Yeah. Let's go, yes, Annaline, psych. Dos Pueblos. Yes. He's our, I think, the president of the Neo Psych Society. Ma'am, remember, I will also inter have them in, in focus for Horn. <laughs> yeah, because um the, the psychology organization, the Neo Psych Society, is very active, no? Okay. And very dynamic. In fact, they already had started some of their activities, and I'm so happy that they are, you know, despite of the pandemic, padayon hapon ang ilang, you know, by the willingness and the eagerness nga mo serve sa okay. mga students. Book me one Friday. Next Friday, it's still yes, um, yes. <laughs> Dr. Boloron and Dr. Zalwaga. So the Friday after that, maybe yeah. I can uh, have them in, in focus. Ala, Annaline, into... Miss Dos Pueblos. <laughs> Kat Fade, hello, Annaline Dos Pueblos Hearts. Barreta Ed Celta. Bar Barnett is watching. Ulysses Aparieres is watching. So uh, there are no questions. So probably there uh, all understanding what we are talking about uh, this afternoon. So uh, if th there were no questions, if there are questions, Annaline said, good afternoon. Uh, hi, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, if there are no questions, they're probably, you know, like digesting uh, everything you're saying like I am. And I hope that uh, uh, there will be questions that will be asked uh, in the Facebook and we will just answer them. As we move along, uh, I understand the enrollment has been closed. Yes. Yes. So we're not accepting any new students anymore. Well, I guess if there are, there are those who are still <laughs> going to enroll, we are going yeah, to we will accept. accept. <laughs> we're very happy. We will be very happy to accept them. <laughs> yes. Remember. I am <laughs> let's let's talk to those that were not that did not come back. I hope that the they will consider enrolling. Uh, all our classes are online, right? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Um, and, asynchronous, asynchronous um mode of delivery of instruction. <laughs> right. We're all on uh Google Classrooms. Yes. And they can check in. Uh, during their uh, uh, classes, okay, asynchronously submit the requirements in Google Classroom and so on and so forth. And they can, you know, like talk to their teachers and classmates in the Google Classroom. So I hope that uh, uh, until the restrictions are lifted by IATA and that we are allowed face-to-face -face classes, but practically for this semester and probably for the next, uh, we are on these uh, online modes. Are there other information that uh, we should tell them? Uh, Mom, uh, Divina and uh, Dr. Salon, did we forget anything? I forgot to mention <laughs> our uh, uh, two part timers. <laughs> yes, yes. Mabayan <laughs> Junia. We also have Mam Kit Ufos. Okay. Security management and Sir um, Dr. Francisco is handling research. Okay, the statistics and research. Um, yes. uh, for the information, every, everyone, uh, Dr. Opus, who heads the UGLP and the uh, political science programs, was recently uh, inducted as the chair of the Provincial Advisory Council of the Bohol 
Police Provincial Office. So we have a connection in the uh, in the BPO and uh, congratulations, Kit. I know uh, you are up for the job and you are the best person in there. So she can uh, really bring uh, so much information also to that class in, uh, you said security. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Industrial security. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, and it's interesting. Hopefully, we can also get to know the uh, part-time teachers from uh, UC, uh, even yep. online. Okay, ma'am, uh, Dr. Solan, is there other 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 things that we forgot? Yeah, I, I just would like to mention, um, given this opportunity that um, we are in Facebook Live, um, I would like to mention that we also congratulate Kuba, one of our psychology students who won second murag second place man si Buruto, sa kaning essay writing contest um, um, it's uh the 54th during the 54th founding anniversary of Asia ASEAN no sa that's the pro, the the program created i think by Chedro um Ched regional uh, region region 7 so John Miko Mondilia okay okay i know uh, John. So, i know Miko yeah. all the word yeah, of the word and of hope he's a psychology student and hopefully we will also be sending him together with another classmate, Christy Gablinis, to the um, Educ Circle International Conference um, virtual online siyang event. Um, ato pa na siyang recommend. No? I hope ma ma approve ni. Father Milo. <laughs> Bigi plug na na approve. <laughs> Father Milo, as your birthday gift. Yeah, you approve na na. Since it is your birthday, your birthday gift is to approve <laughs> attending of these students to, uh, yeah. to the conference. Educ Circle International Conference. Well, and this will be where? Um, it's an online event. Ah, okay, I plugged yeah. that. <laughs> Delay na sila maparagas. But that will be on October 9, 2021. Okay, there are more greetings here. The Apple uh, Machete is saying good afternoon. Uh, Gwyneth Krista Visaya Revilla, psych mates. Uh, John Mondilia is uh, being tagged. Jonah Fehala, sister, is watching. Uh, Prudenciana Cruz of the National Library. Uh, director is watching. Analien uh, Laban, psych mates. So, uh, I guess uh, we have reached that uh, point where we say um, my favorite question, uh, just a round from both of you, why HNU? So uh, why, uh, why HNU? We'll start with Dr. Solan and then uh, Professor Toralba. There are only just two major points I want to point out. No, Why Holy Name University? Number one, Holy Name University, our psychology program is composed of highly competent and qualified instructors. As what I have mentioned, we have a psychometrician, a psychologist. All our instructors are graduate of masteral and doctorate degrees. So, wala na koy pangitaon. No, they are very good. They are excellent instructors. And then another thing is. Why Holy Name University? Because we're able to produce nga mga maayo nga mga students. We're able to produce top notchers and hopefully we will be producing more here in Holy Name University. Murag true blooded Holy Name yan ang yung ka within your how many months Lagino! Ang muna dyan ang gipanindigan. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you, much. Okay. Thank you very much. I see the sincerity and the joy uh, in your eyes as you are saying that. Uh, yes, Ma'am Toralba. Yes, Why Holy Name University, uh, an institution um, the trailblazes um, excellence in educating um, servant leaders. So, um, Holy Name University does not only um, produce professionally competent um, graduates, but also they inculcate the core values such as social responsibility, evangelization, excellence, um, what else? 
what else did I need? So these are the the values that needs um that the student or our graduates needs to possess and practice in their future careers. So I must say that Polynesian University will um develop you holistically as an individual as a professional. So that is why I will always be loyal to Holy Name University. Wow. Thank you very much. So uh, with that, uh, we close uh, the, this uh, afternoon's uh, in focus uh, episode with the heads of the criminology and the psychology department of the programs of the College of Arts and Sciences of Holy Name University. This has been Vera Vilicido, the marketing and advertising officer, uh, bringing to you live the In Focus episode this afternoon synchronously. And uh, this is a virtual conversation about our programs. This, uh, this uh, video will also be uploaded in our YouTube channel and it will, be, um, it will premiere uh, tomorrow at the same time. And the audio file will be aired in our DYJR Johnson Radio 106.5 FM in the Metro Tagbilaran area. We would like to uh, greet Father uh, Milo Mapaye, SBD, the Vice President for Happy Academic birthday. Affairs. Happy <laughs> birthday. Happy uh, birthday, Father. <laughs> and Father Eufemio Sambrio, the, the uh, assistant uh, chaplain of the basic education department also happy birthday today and tomorrow is uh, attorney uh, uh, the dean of the college of law Tom, Tomas Abapo's birthday also so advance happy advance birthday happy birthday, happy birthday attorney <laughs> so with that we close uh, there are many others watching but we will uh, read uh, their comments and their questions later so thank you very much thank you mom Vera. thank you very much thank, thank, you, much. thank okay. you mom divine <laughs> <laughs> thank you mom okay with that uh, we close and we say goodbye have a pleasant afternoon Friday afternoon and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye. <laughs>